In our recent coverage of the history of tent removals in Vancouver, we received lots of comments. So we took your questions and suggestions to people who can answer them. Comment number one, why can't the city create a temporary space in Strathcona, Crab and other parks that have porta potties and communal kitchens? You could build lockup sheds. And there's been some reluctance to that in some communities just because then we're kind of seen to be throwing in the towel a bit on housing being the real solution. Um, but for example, the city of Vancouver, even through the park board, is currently taking a similar approach um, at Crab Park. So they've got staff there ensuring that people are staying safe, but not everybody wants to live in a regulated encampment either. We had nowhere near this homelessness problem when Woodlands and Riverview were running. We actually moved away from the sort of forced institutionalization model for really good reasons. We had really bad things going on in some of these really forced institutionalization situations. So that's something we want to be really careful about not returning to. But I think there's a lot of room to expand those care um, facilities for people to set people up um, who want to be in those facilities uh, by choice. They need shelters. Please, they deserve at least a bed in a warm place. In shelters, there are issues of violence, of crowding, of curfews, of overregulated behavior. Women say they're not safe. There are issues of sexualized violence in shelters. There are issues of pests, of mold. Maybe the city should build more accommodation and detox centers with rehabilitation facilities to help them. For some people who are in, have substance abuse issues, we might, we might need detox centers and then we need after that some place where they could be going so often people go into detox but there's nowhere to go afterwards i think we need to go to different municipalities and with it with real information where are the homeless coming from where are the people with addictions coming from and what how much service and housing should each municipality uh, be providing over the next few years with support from the senior government